changed out the stock shocks to the Exaform 291R and here's a quick little screen. is going on y'all lloyd here back again with another video and i have something to confess to my reset 10 plus watchers viewers subscribers so according to my youtube analytics i have like 159 i don't know if y'all can see that i have like 159 plus subscribers for my reset 10 plus video that i posted last year ago around july 5th or something like that so uh, yeah, remember when I said in the video, I don't make e-scoot, e-skate videos as often anymore because the PEV community is such a niche audience. And then I also said in the video, and I can see myself riding this scooter for thousands of miles, but knock on wood, knock on wood. Well, I think it's finally time to tell you all what happened because a lot has happened in the recent year. All right, so first things first, thank you all to the 159 subscribers that subscribed to me. Uh, because of that video for the Vset 10 Plus. I didn't know the video was gonna blow up, to be honest. Like, I just did that review just because of my passion for that electric scooter. And it was an electric scooter that I was really anticipating to be using for a lot and, and for a long time. I did a lot of riding with it and I can definitely attest that it is a beast of an electric scooter. But some of you might be wondering, Lloyd, what happened? Well, as I mentioned, the PEV community is such a niche audience and I don't want to make my channel a pure PEV only content as I have a bunch of other subscribers. Actually, majority of them came from this video right here and I garnered like almost a thousand plus subscribers from that video. But anyways, point being of this video is with the Vizette 10 Plus and a quick update as to what happened with my Vizette 10 Plus. If your attention span is extremely short to non-existent, TLDW or too long did not watch a version of this video is I sold my Vizette 10 Plus. The whole reason why I sold it is because this. I just haven't been writing it enough. So yeah, I just haven't been using it as often as I would like to. Now I also did some major upgrades with it though and it was pretty dope. Let's start with the shocks. I changed out the stock shocks to the Exaform 291R and here's a quick little screen image thing of what the sizes are and where I got it from. After that, I also changed out the handlebars to Upen Bike handlebars that I got off of Amazon. They're 720 millimeter handlebars and just kind of gives it more of that wider ride stance and just better overall handling of the electric scooter. I also cleaned out the cables and just kind of made a better cable management and whatnot. And some mini upgrades is I changed out the charging caps. Now the biggest and major upgrade is probably the most sought after electric scooter upgrade for everybody out there especially for the Vset 10 plus i added a steering dampener just for a better overall handling experience and safety so uh, yeah i sold it for about 1700 bucks to this guy right here he's local lives around the greater seattle area and he joins the seattle saturday night right here in seattle it's a bunch of pev groups and we do a group ride every saturday at 7 30 p.m and whatnot go around Seattle and all that stuff. But anyways, I still see the Vissette 10 Plus. It looks dope. He made it super dope actually. He fixed a couple of the nicks and scratches and whatnot. But also, I got into e-biking guys. And if you haven't seen it yet, I did post a review of my e-bike. It's called the Aerial Rider X-Class e-bike. I'll post a link over here or maybe down in the description as well. Actually, yeah, I'll post it in the description too. But I got into e-biking a lot just because, you know, it's a great cross training for me because I do a lot of running guys I like I'm a runner and I also do a lot of fitness I, I lift and stuff so it's just a great way to get physically active as well unlike with my electric scooter you know I would just stand there and ride for hours and hours I don't really get tired of it so but with my e-bike I actually get my heart pumping I can get up to 140 beats per minute for 30 minutes and whatnot my legs are sore the next day but don't get me wrong though guys as I said I love the Vset 10 plus it's very powerful too powerful for me in fact but at the same time I just don't want it sitting in my garage collecting dust and I want someone to be able to use it ride it as much as they can do mods tweaks and all that stuff whatever they want to do with it instead of just collecting dust in my garage so yeah hopefully I don't lose any of y'all I'm still making PEV videos by the way but not solely K to just electric scooters like we said or other ones out there so I want to expand my horizon um, and hopefully collaborate with other brands products out there in the future anyway that is all for the video thank you all again so much for watching have a great rest of your day or evening wherever you're watching this from and I'll see you all in my next video which is actually this one right here peace Ooh.